Hey everybody, welcome back. We're looking at some bridezillas and their insane demands. Because I've come across this list that a bride put up on the internet of 37 expectations she has of her bridesmaids. And the list has gone viral, and we're gonna find out why. I've read a lot of posts about issues with bridesmaids. I gave out contracts. It explained all my experiences from the beginning to end. I started with 10 and ended with six bridesmaids. I refused to be stressed. Anne and I didn't budge on any of it. Please put your email in the comments if you would like a copy emailed to you to personalize. That is a long list. All right, so I'm guessing she had 10 bridesmaids and only six decided to participate because of this list. Here it is. Number one, I will not try to convince the bride to change anything in her wedding. Number two, I will not talk negative about anyone in the wedding. Number three, I will not gain more than three kilograms between now and the wedding. I mean, I can understand needing to fit into a dress, like a dress that the bride has bought for the bridesmaid, but also kind of like life happens, you know? Like life happens, sometimes we get thrown a curveball and we start eating a little bit more than usual anyway, and uh, we gain a little weight. I can't believe that it's in the contract that they can't gain weight. <laughs> I wonder how long until the wedding that is. Three kilograms is a lot to gain in a very short amount of time, but not over a long period of time. Number four, I will wear only black or dark brown hair on the day of the wedding. Highlights may be accepted with prior approval. Number five, I cannot wear any lashes the day of the wedding unless professionally installed. What if you're really good at putting lashes on though? What if the professional isn't as good as putting on lashes as you are? Sometimes professionals don't know how to do my makeup. I find myself constantly having to fix professional makeup because it's just not my style or because I think I want a bit, a bit of a bigger wing or something. I brought my eyelashes to set the other day. Your girl filmed a TV show and I brought my eyelashes to set and I put those bad boys on myself and it looked amazing. Number six, I have to attend the bridal shower and bachelorette party fitting and rehearsals and wedding. Only time this can be missed is death or jail, pregnancy over five months and some sickness with a recent doctor's note. Death or jail, eh? <laughs> death or jail. <laughs> your death, like my, uh, your bridesmaid's death or like someone else's death, it's just death. Could we get a little more specific on that? Number eight, the brides will choose my makeup artist the day of the wedding. I will agree to wear the dress the bride chooses regardless of my own opinions, style, or color. <sighs> like, I feel like all of these things are kind of a bit unspoken. Like, I don't think that you need to make a list or a contract, as it were, to get people to do what you want. It just seems a little bit confrontational. Just a little bit, right, Chair? What, no, nothing to say? You seem to be talking over me quite a bit. Number 10, I will not wear any extra accessories, items of clothing or jewelry the day of the wedding except my wedding or engagement ring. I will not unintentionally fall pregnant before the wedding. Oh, Jesus. Pregnancy under five months will not be excused from attending wedding events. Excused, eh? Excused? What is this, grade school? I will support the bride in everything she chooses. <laughs> Again, why do we need a contract? I will not consume more than seven units of alcohol during any event except the bachelorette party. There will be no limit. Well, that's good. Sounds like uh, we'll need it. I'm not going. I wouldn't go, but sounds like it's needed. I will not bring a date to the wedding or reception without bridal approval. I will not bring any outside people except kids to any meeting. I will not bring my kids to the wedding unless they are part of the wedding party, no exceptions. I will make sure I have an accountable babysitter the day of the events, and I understand that no show for no babysitter will not be an acceptable excuse. So they can't bring the kids, but also if the babysitter doesn't show up, then they still have to, so what, what are they gonna do with the kids? It's just a what if, right? I will not make any advances toward males in the wedding party. God damn it! That's the only reason why I go! <laughs> why not? Why not? What's the problem? Isn't that what weddings are for? Meet eligible bachelors and bachelorettes? I will not date anyone in the wedding party that I wasn't dating before I signed this contract. What the f <laughs> I will be happy and positive at all times during the wedding and reception. I mean, you're making it kind of difficult. I will not grow sensitive and angry with the bride because I understand that she has a bossy attitude. No way. No way. Really? You're bossy? No, I no idea. No idea whatsoever. I will not attempt to outdo the bride in any way. You must look like but not like a pile of you know? You must look like, like a little, like a little turd. Not a pile of Don't go overboard on the I will wear the hairstyle the bride chooses for the wedding day. I understand that I have to purchase my own dress and shoes and hairstyle for the wedding. Okay, so wait. I thought that you were making that demand because you were paying for the dresses, which would make sense because you know, you're having something made, but they also have to pay for the dress and the shoes and hairstyle. 
I understand that the bachelorette party may be a destination getaway. Oh, finally, something positive. I understand I have to purchase a bachelorette party t-shirt and fund my own trip if it is away. I understand that the maid and matron of honor will need help funding some of these events. The wedding and reception are not included. I understand that the bride does not want any suggestion and this agreement is on here twice, two different ways because the bride wants it to be clear. It's definitely not in the fine print. Only suggestion allowed is a way to get her exact item at a cheaper price. I will not drop out of the wedding party for any of the reasons listed above. If I do not like anything listed, I will not sign the contract and I will be replaced. It's good that you feel that your bridesmaids are replaceable if they don't agree to your demands. I understand that I do not agree to the above terms and it will not ruin the bride and I's friendship, all right? But if I sign and agree and later want to drop out, it will ruin our friendship. At least she warned you. I understand that no friendship to the bride is bigger than anyone in her wedding party and everyone will be treated equally. I understand that I may have to do physical activity at the reception and this requires practices provided by the bride. No colored contact lenses allowed. Why not? What's the issue? <laughs> no black drawn on eyebrows or thick drawn on. Matter of fact, revert to black makeup law above. No glossy colored lipstick allowed. Why not? The kind that looks very shiny and bright. Why? I love that. No, I'm gonna show up wearing blue lipstick. That's what's up. No colorful nails the day of the wedding. Only colors allowed are American, French, or nude. Well, I guess I'm out. I will provide the bride with my normal seven-day schedule within five days of signing this contract. I will agree to save at least $50 a month for expenses for the next 14 months. This is a lot. So this article says that we all need to be considerate of the fact that planning a wedding is a very stressful event. And that's, I think, why all of these bridezilla posts seem so outrageous to us. Because it is stressful. It's stressful for everyone involved. It's like a big show, almost. A show of people's love. But it doesn't have to be super stressful, you know? Here were some of the responses. Well, she is right. The wedding party will be treated equally. Equally awful. But hey, she did allow exemption in the event of death. What a gal. Thank God, I was planning on dying before your wedding. <laughs> if this person were my friend, I would seriously have to reconsider my life choices. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me that a lot of people dropped out. I feel like that's understandable. I would never sign such a thing. Too, too funny. I have to pay for things in which I have no choice and must save up $500 for expenses that I cannot choose or control in any way. Not just no, but you need an intervention. No. I'm paying the bills and she's choosing my hair color and style. It's a good point, man. Like, if you're paying for it, I feel like you have the right to make these kinds of demands, but you're not paying for it. Why do people not realize that their wedding is not the center of other people's universe? They'll be the same if they have kids and expect everyone to make the little crotch goblin <laughs> the center of their world. But I've got a child. But there are babies in the car. You can't park here. <laughs> the minute I was given these rules, I would have declined. And although the bride says our friendship will be fine, I say goodbye forever. I don't need friends like this one. With friends like these, who needs enemies? That's, that's a little mu too much friend, you know? A little much. <laughs> oh my God, guys, you know what I got? We're gonna unbox. I got a mallet. I actually got it. And it came so quickly too. Order, order in the court. My microphone doesn't like it though. Let's see. Oh. Order. Softly, Charlotte, softly. I'll clean it later. Bride-to-be gets lit up for worrying dad's wheelchair will ruin her wedding. I think you have bigger things to worry about, sweetheart, but go on. Am I the a-hole for not wanting my dad to walk me down the aisle because he's in a wheelchair? I don't even need to read it to assess, but go on. About three years ago, my dad was injured in a really bad hit and run car accident. He broke just about every bone in his body and left him paralyzed from the waist down. Our relationship has always been really good, but I hate seeing him in pain and admittedly try to avoid seeing him because it makes me uncomfortable. Imagine how he feels. In November, I'm getting married. I've been with my fiance for four years and he and my dad get along really well. Naturally, the discussion of who was gonna give me away came up in the family group chat and I kept silent after I realized my dad would be in a wheelchair. We always talked about him giving me away and having a dance at my wedding and I don't wanna be reminded of what could have been at my wedding. I messaged my mom privately and I told her I want my uncle to walk me down the aisle as we are incredibly close. She naturally asked why and I told her that my dad being in a wheelchair would add complications to the wedding. The walkway would have to be widened to accommodate his wheelchair and he wouldn't be able to hold my arm or give me a proper hug. She was outraged, calling me an ableist piece of shit and removed me from the group chat. My aunt has since called me, telling me my dad is absolutely devastated. Am I the a-hole? Yeah. 
Update, I appreciate all the people who have messaged me offering support. Your kind words mean a lot to me whilst rifling through a bunch of messages telling me to do horrible things to myself. Regardless of what you think of me telling me to do these things isn't okay. I agree with you, it's not okay to do that. I'm going to call my dad tomorrow. Update two, can you please stop messaging me such horrendous stuff? Think about what you're saying. You may not agree with me or my life, but you're just as bad as I am if you're gonna go around saying stuff like that to strangers on the internet. Not that I owe it to anyone, but I thought I'd give you all an update. My boyfriend and I have decided to part ways and I've apologized to my dad. As you can probably tell, this person was dubbed the asshole. You're the a-hole and you know it. This is your father. The man went through hell and barely survived, leaving him severely disabled. And all you think is about how it would look, how it won't fit your fairy tale versions of how things would have been, if not for his near death accident. How about he, like, what if he just wasn't there at all? You know? Your priorities are askew and I'm wondering why your fiance sees fit to marry someone that would likely leave him if he ever, gods forbid, meets the same fate. Bridezilla asks for free wedding in return for Instagram exposure, but doesn't even have Instagram. Shut up! All right, this is the last one. It's the last one! Hi y'all, as you know, me and Dave af get married. Soon I will be Mrs. David Blank. Can you believe it? I can, lol, I deserve it. <laughs> Oh, I love the sense of self-worth. I love it. I do. We are blessed that Dave's godmother has invited us to have her wedding at her estate in Maine. I'll share some photos later, but it's gorgeous and it's a historical landmark, which means my wedding is going to be historic. Lol. Because we're having an out-of-state wedding, which means we will be traveling and staying in hotels and also because our honeymoon is in Dubai. Why not? In Dubai. I'm asking for y'all's help with some of the wedding stuff. If anyone has any experience as a professional photographer or not a hobby, but getting paid as a job, please contact me or David. We need you. This could be considered your gift to us. We would need you to pay for travel to Maine and everything, but I think once you saw where the wedding is, you'd be begging us for the opportunity. Don't think so. If anyone knows a good caterer in Maine or willing to travel to Maine who will work for exposure, exposure doesn't pay the bills. I'm going to be starting an Instagram soon. So you don't have an Instagram, but you are using exposure as currency. Got it. Any dress designers out there, I want that one of a kind dress. You need to be professional and talented. I want to feel like a princess. I will post your info and all of the pictures here on my Instagram, which doesn't <laughs> exist yet. We also need all the usual stuff, flower seating, music, orchestra, no DJ, this will be classy. I can already tell you our event will get press because of the historic location. Please send me a message if you can help. See y'all in June. We found a free location. Now who wants to pay for the rest of the wedding? But it, it's historic, it's historic. You have to be a professional, not just a hobby. She wants every aspect of the entire wedding to be donated basically. Unreal, her husband is doomed. Unless he is just as much of a jack as she is. You know, I think that maybe sometimes they deserve each other. You know what I'm saying? Or the, or he's just a pushover. I will be starting an Instagram soon. She has no exposure to give. That's a new one. It is new. I always get surprised. No matter how many of these videos I do, someone always surprises me. Don't forget to hug your dads, you guys. Subscribe! I got something that you